Hey guys, it's Chicken Connor. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Alright, in the last part we saw Ness was homesick and we're finally near a phone, so let's go ahead and call Mom. Ness, don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son, who'd have thought he was such a brave kid? Oh yeah, you're a hero, honey. Beep, beep, beep. Strange. Did that let us get over the homesickness? I think it did. Usually it'll prompt you saying you got over the homesickness. Uh, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's see, I withdrew about $12,000 in the last part. We are rested up, I believe. Yep. Um, so anyway, I'm actually going to cut this here. And uh, I'm going to go kind of revise our inventory a little bit, though, because we got a lot of... Eh, we just got a lot of crap and everything like that. And, you know, that and I want to go back to that uh, merchant and stock up on some equips and that kind of stuff and some multi-bottle rockets, though. So here's my inventory before. Ness. Paula. And Jeff. Alright. So when I come back, uh, I'll show you my revised inventory, alright? I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Alright, here's my revised inventory. Here we go. Really cleaned up right there. Really nice. Okay, there's Paula's. And here's Jeff's. Yes, we have the multi-bottle rockets now. Those are really helpful. If you don't have multi-bottle rockets, I highly recommend getting them. They will make any boss for the remainder of the game really easy. Well, except for one, though, but I'll let you guys know when that boss comes. But anyway. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and use the rock candy right here. The rock candy is a pretty good item. There is a glitch to get unlimited uses out of the rock candy, uh, but I'm not going to do that glitch. If you guys want it, look it up. I'm not going to tell you. But anyway, uh, the rock candy, basically on the next level up, it'll give you like a lot of stat attributes up. And because I'm trying to tank Paul on this one, I'm going to use it on her. We're speeding up by one. Oh, like she doesn't have enough speed already. Jeez. Okay, so we're just going to rest up and then we're going to head out into the dungeon. Oh, oh, Jeff fixed the broken bazooka. Well, sweet. Wasn't expecting that to happen right at the bat, though, so that makes Jeff's inventory even better now. Yay. Heavy bazooka. Yeah, it's basically just a use item that does a lot of damage. So we're just going to use that whenever. Um, I've been getting, like, some messages and everything from you guys saying that I haven't used Rock and Gamma like I said I was going to, though. But I think at the time of that, I didn't have, like, a whole lot of PP, though, so I wasn't going to waste it. A Molenkia Soup Insider, or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, and I really just haven't had any reason to use it, though, because there hasn't really been a tight spot where I've needed it. Dungeons built, monsters always start moving in. <laughs> Nothing there. Yeah, there's just items through here, I think. Items that are easy to get are usually disappointing. Five dollars? Yeah, these enemies are really just too easy. I think there are some tougher enemies in here, though, on the higher floors, though. Yeah, we get a couple of copies, I swear, like, after every fight. It's like it's really annoying. Snake inside. There aren't really a whole lot of good items in here. Alright, let's see what these say. Don't be a slack. Work hard to get good stuff. Couldn't agree more than the opinion left on the billboard. Super plush bear! That is a good item. You could actually buy those in summers, but I opted not to for whatever reason. Super plush bear, basically just an upgraded version of the teddy bear from earlier. It just takes a lot more damage. A lot more durable. So that's a good item right there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and stop going up the beaten path and just go in here. There's another park, there's another bench right here. Let's see here. So then I don't want to make a pit stop. I wonder why I'm in this restroom right here. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous. Don't worry. <laughs> a little bit of breaking the fourth wall there, I guess. Well, not really breaking the fourth wall, but... I don't know. What's this? It's useful out of a dead end after quite a long walk. Cup of life noodles. Very nice. 
exactly what we wanted. Okay. Let's go over here. A lot of enemies, I'm getting a little bit of slowdown. Why did they put such weak, you know, worthless enemies in here? I swear to God, though, it's just, it's made there just to slow the player down. It's, it's just, never mind. But it's true, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're just putting them there to slow the player down. I built a bulletin board without a message. Brick road. What's this? Grass is green on the other rope. I wonder why that is. If I remember, some of these ropes have items, but only one of them is the rope that you need to take to progress in the dungeon. Oh. Excuse me. Work hard, you don't have time to get burned. I think it's the second rope, actually, though. I'm just going to check the other ones just to make sure. You know, there's no items or anything that I'd be missing. And it's the second time I did that. Nothing here. You have a strong-looking body. Wouldn't you like to be a dungeon worker? Try the second one. This is a dead end too. Learn from your sticks. Follow this and you'll be successful in Earthbound. <laughs> okay. Breaking the wall. Alright, I guess there really weren't any items in those paths like I thought there were. Oh well. Man, I'm thinking of another dungeon. Oh well. Well, at least you guys know which one is the correct one for sure now. Number three. Second floor of my body. Brick Road. What is this engine? That is my eternal question. Jeez. Well, anyway, how have you guys been? I apologize these last few parts haven't really been all that entertaining, though, but it's just been dungeon after dungeon. Yeah, his belly button. Um, yeah, I've been... I'm done with school and everything like that, you know. It's kind of funny, this morning I got up and everything, and I got a sudden urge to uh, watch Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog again, though, so I checked that out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 18, just finished high school, and I'm watching Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> ah, how I have fond memories of that. That and sad I am. If you guys want to, you know, chat it up about that kind of stuff and everything. This music is one of my greatest accomplishments. Yeah, and it's by the Beatles. Anyway, um... Yeah, I've, I've been watching a little bit of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's pretty cool, like I remember it to be. And, of course, you know, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog... It is the best cartoon of all time, because you know what it spawned? You guys know what Adventure Sonic the Hedgehog spawned? It spawned... No! That is right, Robotnik. No! <laughs> God, if it weren't for Adventure Sonic the Hedgehog, I couldn't do that. I wouldn't even know to yell, No! But anyway. Well, I suppose it's more so YouTube poop that spawned that made it popular, but whatever. I want more sudden guts pills. I don't want sudden guts pills. I don't like them. Raise your guts for one fight and that's it. They're useless. Guess I care about. But anyway, yeah. I love Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog for that reason. And for some other reasons. Well, it was just cool and it brings back a lot of memories. Here, this is just an enemy museum. I'm not going to like stop here and look at them. Yeah, there's mad ducks. Oh, well. What do we got? It's kind of weird that they put benches everywhere in this dungeon. This dungeon is really easy. They put place for you to rest up like everywhere though, but they're really it's really not hard at all. A wet towel. Well, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of selling items after this dungeon, but anyway. I think we're just about to the top. Good job, you finally made it. Board upstairs it says that. Brick road. <laughs> yeah, it kind of makes you think you made it, and then it's like, nope, sorry, screw you. Good job, you finally made it. There we go. And this is Brick Road's face. His face is mine. Feel free to talk to it. Yo. Know. Welcome. And that heals us. Long time no see, Mr. Jeff. We met in Winters a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Dr. Ananas finally made me an engine man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Heh, <laughs> return hole. That's what she said. Jump in that hole and then walk out. Well, anyway, now that we've finished up Dungeon Man, very easy, but yet very annoying dungeon. Jump without your courage. 
Um, we're gonna leave off right here. Oh, and what is this hole right here? Goodbye exit. Someday you should enter with courage. Brick road. But not today. So anyway, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner, up there. Give me a five-star reviews down below this video, and be sure to check out my other parts over there if you like this part. Alright. This is Jake Conroy, and I'll see you guys later.